points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. It was former Tar Heel Javante Williams with a solid first half. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A 10-point game, 17-7 the score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Throwing to start the drive. Knicks. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, man. That is just a flat miss. He's in the pocket. The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw. Knicks. Incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot or running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. On third down, Knicks. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of first. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. That's taken it around the 40. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Minshew. And that one too wide and incomplete. Just what they need electric for me, but some far offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Minshew sets to throw. That is caught. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, 
the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane that could really break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Got a man. It's Mayer. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And a dump off to White. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Now back to the ground game with White. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Zamir White, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets him right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a proven drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive.
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get this to the 32. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And they'll come up second and seven. Again, it's Williams. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. is the target incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So out come the Raiders. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. Open man is Myers. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 42-yard line. Going right side is White. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's a second and eight. Off play action, it's Minshew. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. On play action, they'll throw. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Broncos are going to get the football here at their own 23. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. Denver's offense now set to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Throwing to start the drive. Nix. This one swung out to Williams. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it'll be second down. 
And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, Williams. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he's going to have a Broncos first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They have punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They run it again with Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. To throw on third down, Nix. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he's taken down inside the 30. 99 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They go play action here on first down. He's got Burton here. They'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Off play action. Knicks. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Nix. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. The kick by Lutz is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown in this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. the main 
kicking field goal. Lutz to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. They keep it on the ground right again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Throwing on first down is Minshew. He finds his man complete. That's Bowers. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of eight there on the play. And it'll be second in a couple. They'll set up to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Anytime the ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 34. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts. But don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Running out of the gun with White. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. 
Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Out of the gun is Minshew. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. As the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So the Broncos coming out now. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. He's got it at the 15. A huge play there for Denver. 59 yards. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. On the handoff, McLaughlin. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Off the bootleg. Nix. This is caught. Touchdown! From four yards out. And the Broncos get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Lutz with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with a Denver touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone.
Now Minshew on first and ten. Slant to Adams. Finding space at the 40. Still on his feet. And down to the 27-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 51 yards. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. On second down, Minshew caught by Mayer. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. The end result, 21 yards. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And it's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Devontae Adams from six yards away. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. On as the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And Denver getting set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Nix. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and seven at the 34 yard line. Operating from the gun, Nix throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third down, Nix. critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. 
On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. They'll start the drive with a give to White. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Minshew sets to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Myers. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Minshew. It's Myers again with another catch. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They run straight ahead here with White, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. They go right back to White here on first down. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 98 yards rushing for him now, as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader, and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Minshew, first and 10. Complete. It's Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? Now a give up the middle. This is right. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's a toss right side with White. And he is going to lose yardage here. Pat Sertan getting down from his corner spot to make that play. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be third and 10. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive 
take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Now Minshew. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So he looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Carlson able to put this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, <laughs> trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And coming out now, the Broncos. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. First down, Nix. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Operating from the gun, Nix. Got his man, it's Williams. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Now second and nine. The give is to McLaughlin. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. This now a third and four. Back to throw. Nix. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 49-yard line. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. He'll take this to the 46. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Williams going to get it again on second down. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 
113 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Brett Barton, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Denver has the first down, the play going for 15 yards. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first and 10, Nix letting one go deep for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. We're following the play here, now we've got an injury. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone. He's hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Up the middle, it's Williams. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to break our fourth quarter tie. The kick by Lutz is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. offense now they trot back out and now they find themselves trailing following the field goal still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game Try and start this drive in the air. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They're going to look to throw. Minshew going to be intercepted for the third time. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside the quarterback's head and figuring it out. Okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage.
Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They give it to Williams, running right. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Williams going to get it again on second down. And it's some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A carry from the Dolphin. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Now we give up the middle to Williams. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. To throw on third down, Nix. Touchdown, Broncos! Josh Reynolds, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Broncos use the short field to get in for six. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Lutz good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So now London, down by 10, a minute 45 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Minshew, able to find Gallup, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Pat Sertan. Still going inside the 20. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. 
but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for your kids, your gloves, your ties. Get to share it with the home team. Well, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from Denver.